So it's all part of the creative way of working when you just come up with ideas and see, test them how they look. Like now I'm creating a lens flare with one of the filters in Photoshop under the render options. You can create lens flare, but make sure you first create a new layer, fill it in with black, and then set the blend mode to screen once you created the filter. So you can see I generated this lens flare directly in Photoshop. Now I'm thinking of whether I need to use it at all. And if I use it, where shall I put it? How shall I set the direction of it? So there's so many circles in the image already. It sort of gets lost a bit. But I think somewhere here where I just placed it now might work well. So that adds that additional brightness and high key detail there on the top left, just next to her hair and face, which actually looks quite good. So this effect I'm going to keep, but because it's on a separate layer, I can always change my mind and I can get rid of it if I want to. I decided to delete all the details outside of my cropped area because the file was just getting too big and it was a little bit too slow to work with. So now I managed to resize the size and it will be much easier and faster to work that I deleted all the unnecessary details outside. Now I'm going back and revisiting some of my bokeh effects. Like the very first one I created, I felt like it's not needed on the bottom part of the image because there's no light sources there. So why should I have any bokeh effect there? So that's why I masked that part out. But once again, masking is a non-destructive way of hiding details. So if I decide that I need those details, I can always go back and disable my mask or make changes to it.